question. Before I introduce Bishop Dr. Margaret Wangari, I don't know where do I start, but I want to thank God that I have this privilege of welcoming Bishop. Because Bishop is a household name that is known all over Kenya, all over Africa, all over the world. This woman of God who is here, God has used her so mightily so that Jesus has been witnessed the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And I am having faith in God that if there is anyone who came here tonight expecting to meet this Jesus, that for sure, you will not leave this place the same. You only need to believe. Because when you believe, Jesus will do it. When I was like about 10 years, then when I heard about Bishop Margaret, and I attended one of the meetings that was in Karori Banana, and what I saw is amazing, is amazing, is amazing. Is amazing because Jesus manifested himself so mightily so that everywhere there was miracles, 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 miracles. And I strongly believe that the same anointing that I saw at that particular time, that is the same that is with Bishop today. And I strongly believe together with you because I made a prayer that time that when I will be a little bigger, then I was very small, I was 10 years old. I said, when I will be a little bigger, this is Jesus that I would want to talk about. And I want to tell you that it is good to talk about Jesus who does things. It is good to talk about Jesus who manifests himself to what he says that he is. And I have seen it throughout my life. Everywhere Bishop Margaret has been. I don't want to take much of her time. But with all humility, Bishop, welcome and speak to us what the Lord God has laid in your spirits. And let us stand up in honor of God, not in honor of our bishop, but in honor of God. And help me to put your hands together as we welcome Bishop Dr. Margaret to speak to us this evening. Welcome, Bishop. And uh, have faith in him that he has something great for you, right? Yeah, kindly can we stand? Just raise up your right hand unto God. Thank you, Father. God, I know that you are here and your people, my Father God, they have poured their hearts unto you. And right now, my God and my King, we welcome you, Jesus Christ, because we know that without you, Jesus, we cannot do anything, but with you, God, we can do all things. My Lord and my King, come and meet with all our needs. We need you, my God, more than ever before, and we are trusting you, God. That this is the day that you have made, oh God. And indeed, we are going to rejoice and be glad in this day. Father, we believe that which we need, oh God, you are going to give it unto us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for taking over in this meeting. Thank you, Lord. We worship you, God, and we honor you, God. Thank you because you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. God, 
Many things change, but you, you will never change. We bless you, God, and we honor you, my God. Thank you, Father. In your hands, O oh Lord, we are. We are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, and we are so expectant, O oh God. And we trust you, then, my Father. Tonight, you are coming down. And my Father and my God, I believe as we have prayed, O oh God, in that office, and we say, Lord God, do not pass us by. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you and we bless you for the word. Thank you because every word that I'm going to speak, it will be ordered by you. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we do pray and trust you, God. Amen. Thank you so much. You may be seated. I'm so glad to be here today, and I'm giving God all the praise and all the glory because I know it is His will. Praise God. Glory to God. Yes, how many believe that it is God's will? I also believe it is God's will, and indeed we are going to see His own manifestation and all what is needed is that mustard seed faith. That is all what is needed. And as we have it, then God is going to move in our midst in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank God for Pastor David and Pastor Ruddy and the First Lady Linda. Thank you so much for opening the door for me to come to your church. I'm, I'm delighted. I'm grateful. And I thank God because of the warm welcome that I received in your home. Praise God. <coughs> and I'm trusting God together with you that <coughs> that welcome that I received I feel that peace in my heart. I feel the peace of God and the Lord God speaking to me in that bed. And I am trusting God that that God will continue speaking to us even in these meetings. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive greetings from home. Uh, senior pastor called me in the morning. And uh, he said hello to you. And they are praying for you back there in Kenya. And you are trusting God together that something great is going to happen in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to open our Bibles in the book of St. Luke. St. Luke chapter 7. We are going to start from verse 1. Now, when he had added all his sayings in the audience of the people, he entered into Capernaum, and certain centurion servant, who was dear unto him, was sick and ready to die. And when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that, he would come and heal his servant. And when they came to Jesus, they besought him instantly, saying that he was worthy for whom he should do this. For he loved our nation, and he had built us a synagogue. Then Jesus went with them, and when he was now not far from the house, the St. Judas sent friends to him, saying unto him, Lord, Trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof. Wherefore, neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee, 
for saying a word, and my servant shall be healed. Amen. For I am I also for I for I also am a man sent under authority having having other me soldiers, and I say unto one go, and he goeth, to another come, and he cometh. And to my servant do this, and he doeth it. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him and turned him about and said unto the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And they that were sent returning to the house found the servant hall that had been sick. Praise the name of the Lord. We give God all the praise because our God is a good God. And there is no other God whom we can serve or adore apart from that God. Praise the name of the Lord. I thank the Lord for the centurions who was an officer and he was in charge of 100 soldiers or 100 men. And he decided to go to the, uh, no, he decided about, about, about sending people to Jesus Christ. And I thank the Lord because this centurion, even though he was a Roman, he knew that Jesus Christ had power. He knew that he had an extraordinary power and he honored him. Praise the name of the Lord. And I give God all the praise and I give God all the glory because our God is a God of wonders. When I say that he does wonders, I have seen him doing it and I don't doubt him. In so many meetings and also here in this America, I was in El Paso two weeks ago. And there was a woman who had a shorter leg and the Lord God made it grow instantly. And the leg was equal to the other leg. We give God all the praise. There is nobody else who can do that apart from God. And we give God all the praise because our God is a good God. Hallelujah. So this centurion, he had a servant that he had loved so much. And the servant, he was seriously sick and ready to die. When you hear that somebody is ready to die, that means he does not have any other hope. You are just ready that God may come and take me home. And I thank the Lord because when we come to the end of ourselves, that is the beginning of a miracle. Praise God. When you come to the end of yourself, that is the beginning of a miracle. Praise the name of the Lord. I have seen it in my life and I have seen it in many people's life. And I give God all the praise for that. So, it was ended that Jesus Christ was in Capernaum. And this centurion servant was dear to the centurion. And I told you that he was sick and ready to die. When he heard of Jesus Christ, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews beseeching him that he would come. And heal his servant. Praise the name of the Lord. This man, even though he was a Roman, yet he had faith in Jesus Christ. And he decided, I'm not worthy to go to him. Let me send the elders unto him so that they may come and heal my servant. Praise the name of the Lord. And he did that having faith in God. When I was praying in the afternoon and yesterday, the Lord God told me something in my heart. That he will speak a word to whomsoever who will come in this meeting. 
I don't know how God is going to speak a word, but I know he's able to do that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so when the elders were being said, the elders of the Jews, they went beseeching him and he would come and heal his servant. There is one thing I thank God for. Sometimes you may go unto the Lord speaking to him. When you are expecting him to come and speak to you, he's silent. When you are not expecting him, then he comes. So it's amazing. And when you are ready, oh God, I want you now to come. Come and speak to me. He's nowhere to be found. Praise the name of the Lord. And I thank God because when you know that, that is how Jesus is, then you get the momentum. And you walk together with him. And you agree with him in whatsoever you need, and the Lord God will come. When these elders of the Jews were beseeching Christ that he would come and heal his servant. And when they came to Jesus, they besought him instantly saying that he, he was worthy for whom he would do this. They are saying all these things and Jesus is not responding. Are you with me? And many a times when you speak to somebody, you want to hear the response. But when somebody is not responding unto you, you don't know whether he is together with you or not. Praise the name of the Lord. And I thank the Lord because even that time when he was not talking, they kept on, you know, insisting unto him. This man is worthy for whom? You should do this. One, he loveth our nation. Praise the name of the Lord. And he had built us a synagogue. So, this Roman soldier or the officer, he loved that nation. He built the synagogue. Praise the name of the Lord. I trust God, a man who can come and say, I am going to build a church for you. That is not a good, that is not a bad man, right? Praise God. He built a synagogue for them. Secondly, he loveth their nation. If you want to win people, love them. Love the community where you are. Do good unto the community. And when you do good, then the Lord God will come and compensate. Praise the name of the Lord. And I give God all the praise and all the glory because he is worthy to receive honor and to receive all the adoration. Praise the name of the Lord. So those were the compliments of the elders. He loved the nation. He has built synagogues for us. So we give God all the praise because he has built the synagogue and I am trusting God. And so when the elders were saying that, they were expecting then Jesus Christ to respond. There was no response. But I believe that they also trusted in him. Praise the name of the Lord. They trusted in Christ and they knew that Jesus was listening unto them. And when my brother, Pastor David, was saying that kind of a mountain that you have, he may not know the mountain that you have, but speak unto your mountain and God will come and he is going to level that mountain in the name of Jesus Christ. And I am trusting God together with you that this man who was an officer and he had a strong guard and faith to send the elders unto the Lord. That means he knew that the power that he had in the Roman Empire, that power was not enough to heal the servant. He had taken him to many doctors, but they were not able to heal. But he had faith in that Christ. Tonight, let's all have faith in Christ. Whatsoever we need, 
that Jesus Christ, he is going to provide unto you. He is going to give it unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. And I have faith in him. Because already we know what the Bible says in the book of Hebrews 11. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. We may not see, but in that faith, the Lord God Almighty, he has gone to magnify himself. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And so you need to have faith in God. You need to trust him. You need to look unto him. And that God, he cannot and he will never forsake you. Praise the name of the Lord. When you come to fast six, <clears throat> then Jesus went with them, and when he was now not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying unto him, Lord, trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof. Wow. Again, the centurion he did what we call the research. He did the research of himself. Am I worthy for this Christ to come under my roof? He found himself that he was not worthy. Praise the name of the Lord. And this time you can see they were still going, so they were not far from his house. And then Jesus decided to send friends unto him. First, he sent the elders. Elders are well respected. Because when you send elders, that means you respect whomsoever you are sending those elders to. Praise the name of the Lord. And so when the elders... We are being sent unto the Lord. That was the highest respect that the St. Julius could give to the Lord. And all of a sudden, when he started doing the research of himself, he came to find that I am not worthy. Wow. For you, Jesus, to come under my roof. Tonight, I believe God that them, those who are here tonight, you will tell the Lord God to come in your heart. You will tell the Lord God, come, because you know my needs. And Lord God, I am opening my house. I am opening my house. I am opening my heart unto you, so that you may come and you meet with my needs. Praise the name of the Lord. I may not know your needs, but the King of kings do understand all the needs that you have. And in the name of the Lord, I believe that each of us here tonight, we will not say that. Jesus, I am not worthy for you to come. We are worthy, Christ. We open up our hearts that you may come and you meet with our needs in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the same Christ who healed the woman who was bleeding for 12 years. And I am trusting God together with you as you welcome him in your heart. And you tell him, Lord, come in. I need you more than ever before. Then Jesus, he would come and he is going to meet with all your needs because he cares and there is no other God who is like unto our God. Praise the name of the Lord. And so Jesus, when he saw these friends, they came unto him saying unto him, Lord, trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy thou should enter under my roof. Praise the name of the Lord. We give God all the glory. We give God all the praise. But he said something which was so significant. Wherefore, neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee, but say in a word, and my servant shall be healed. 
Anytime I go to that sentence, I see faith in that man. Christ, I am not worthy for you to come under my roof. But Lord, say in a word, and my servant who we seek back home, I believe that you are able to touch, to heal him. Only with the word. So tonight, can you tell the Lord God to speak a word into your life? The things which has been there, stagnant, and you do not know how to go about it. Tell the Lord God, Jesus, come and say in a word. Speak a word in my life. And when you speak a word in my life, I will never be the same again. Jesus, I trust in you. Praise the name of the Lord. I give God all the praise. I give God all the glory because I know that he is a worthy God. He is a worthy God. He deserves all the glory. He deserves all the honor. Thank you, Lord. Last year, a girlfriend of mine, we were in the same high school. It happened that she got cancer. And not last year, but one, yeah. And she sent a friend to me that I may pray for a face tower and then return it back to her in the hospital. I prayed. I anointed it, and I had faith in God that God would do something. She said, I have faith. As Bishop Margaret is going to pray for this tower, I am going to be healed. And after that, she was to go to India. I prayed and I said, Lord, when she go to India and they do the scan and everything, my God, I'll be grateful to hear that she is cancer free. Praise the name of the Lord. Already the hair has started falling down. But you know, that was not my problem. But I had faith in God. I trusted him that he is worthy to do that. So I had to pray and to send a word directly to that woman where she was in the hospital. And then I gave that towel to the girlfriend that she was given. And the moment she received it, she started crying. And then I think about a couple of days, she flew up to India. To make the whole story short, when she went there, you know when there are some sicknesses, when you hear that you have it, fear will come. Not that you want, but you just find yourself, even though you hear your friend is having this, ah, you fear. Not that you want to fear, but it just come. But I thank God because our God is a good God. She went to India. She was taken to every scan. And the doctor said, who say that you have cancer? Jehovah, you are God. They did it more than four times. And she was cancer-free. Praise the name of the Lord. Our God is a God of miracle. He does it. He can do it. He is able. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And when, when they found that she did not have cancer, she was crying. And then she called and said, Mama, they said, I am cancer free. That is the God we serve. Praise the name of the Lord. That is the kind of God we serve. Any mountain that you have, any sickness, anything, 
which is there. Hallelujah. Disturbing your life. The Lord God is here tonight. And I am trusting God. You would say just like the centurion. Jesus. I am not worthy for you to come. But myself God. I'm worthy. Come. Come in my heart. Hallelujah. You do the necessary unto me. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That which you want. The Lord God to do. May you allow Jesus Christ to speak a word. In the name of Jesus Christ. And when the Lord God come. And speak a word unto you. Your life will never be the same again. Come on somebody. Your life will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I am trusting God together with you. This is the hour. This is the minute the Lord God has made for you. That the Lord God may come and speak a word unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And when he does it, your life will never be the same again. He is the healer. He is the deliverer. He does it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I am having faith in him that tonight, that God, he is here tonight in the mighty and holy name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Tell the Lord God, please, Lord, say in a word. Say in a word unto me. Say in a word unto this problem which has been here for so long. And I want you, God, to come. Solve it, God. I don't have the power to solve it. But, God, you have the power to solve it. Speak a word, oh, Lord, God, just one word. And as you speak a word, then a miracle is going to happen in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I am trusting God together with you. Tonight is your night that the Lord God has made for you. Just open up your heart until the Lord Jesus say in a word. Hallelujah. The centurion says, say in a word. And my servant who is ready to die, he is going to be healed. He is going to recover in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And tonight is your night. Tell the Lord, this is a problem I've been having, Lord. And I come to you. And I want you, Lord God, speak a word unto me. And when you do it, Lord, I'll be grateful to you. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We give God all the praise. We give God all the glory. You are so real. You are so kind, Father. Thank you, Lord. There is no other God who is like unto our God. Our God is a miracle-working God. Last week, we had a meeting in Indiana, and a man came, and he had um, he had so many problems in, her, in his body, and the major problem was his feet. He could not walk very well. The feet were paining, and the Lord God came and called other people with the word of knowledge. And then he was saying, why, God, why are you not calling me? And you know my problems. And then the Lord came and called him the second round. And glory to God. Because that man, he was jumping like a small baby. At that altar, saying, I thank God. Because when the servant of God was praying, The power of God came, and I felt relieved. The pain is no longer there at my feet. And he was jumping up and down, and I was just looking unto him. And people said, they have never seen him like that. Of course, when you have an encounter with God, 
things will never be the same again. And he had a total encounter with God. And he was totally healed. Totally healed in the name of Jesus Christ. And I give God all the praise. This is the kind of God we are talking about. And this God, he is here in our midst in the name of the Lord. And whatsoever you need the Lord God Almighty to come and do for you. My God, who is your God? My King, who is your King? He is more than willing to come and do it unto you in the mighty and holy name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We give God all the praise. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And this man... He did declare and acknowledge who he was. For I also am a man set under authority, having under me soldiers. And I say to one, go, and he goeth. And to another, come, and he cometh. And to my servant, do this, and he doeth it. He just wanted Jesus Christ to understand, I am not just an ordinary man. I am a man also set under authority. I have power. When I tell one man, go, he goeth. When I tell the other one, come, he cometh. When I tell the other servant, do this, he doeth it even without asking why am I commanding him to do it. And so, he wanted Jesus Christ to see, I am not only just a man. I am a man also set under authority. And Christ, the power that you have, it is higher than my power. So, that's why I am coming to you. So that you may say in a word, my power cannot heal my servant. But I know in a word, you are going to speak that word is going to make him whole in the name of Jesus Christ. And so he was there trusting God. And I am thanking God today. And I want you also to join me so that we may be in the same page in the name of Jesus Christ. And you tell the Lord, Father, here I come. And I am before you, Lord God. Whatsoever you need from me, God, may you come and you meet with all my needs today. May you come and you speak a word unto me in the mighty and holy name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Our God is a God of miracle. Our God, he saves, he delivers, he can do anything. Praise the name of the Lord. And so today... All what I'm asking you is to have faith in God. That faith, that mustard seed faith, when you have that faith in God, whatsoever you need, my king, who is your king, he is coming to you. He is going to perform that miracle unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, is there anything too hard for God? No, nothing is too difficult for God. My God is able to do all things at all time. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, hallelujah. And all this time, you don't see any, any place that Jesus saying anything apart from the end of it. Praise the name of the Lord. How I pray tonight that the Lord God will gauge your faith and my faith. And he is going to be pleased with the faith that you have tonight. That that which you need, the King of Kings, he is ready to come and deliver it unto you. What do I mean by that? There was this woman in the Bible called Hannah. And she was being provoked by Penina because Penina had children that she did not have any. And she had to that pain and agony. But I thank God because Hannah, she had faith in God. And she was persistent. Be persistent. 
Even when you see that the Lord God is not doing it, be persistent unto God. And then the Lord God will come. He will touch you in the name of the Lord God. Hallelujah. And then Hannah continued praying and seeking the face of the Lord until the time when he went to the church. And she poured her heart unto the Lord. And the moment she poured her heart, Eli came. She saw a woman pouring her heart unto God. He thought this woman has been drinking. Oh my God, hallelujah. And then she was told to remove the wine out of her. But I thank God because he said, I have not taken wine, neither strong drink, but have decided to come in the house just to pour out my heart unto God. And praise the name of the Lord. The man of God, Eli, spoke to her and said, Go thy way and receive thy petition. Praise the name of the Lord. May the almighty God come tonight and deliver your docket right where you are. May he give you your docket. May he come in the name of the Lord because he care. And there is no other God who is like unto our God. May he come tonight and say in a word unto you. And when the Lord come and speak a word unto you, a miracle is going to happen unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I worship him. I give him all the glory. I give him all the honor. I want you to have faith in God. And when you have faith in the Lord, whatsoever you need, the King of Kings, he is able to come and give you your petition. In the name of Jesus Christ, do not be discouraged. The Lord God is here and he is more than willing to come and meet with your needs Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So the centurions needed Christ to understand. I am not just a man. I am a man also full of authority. Under the Roman Empire... I have that power to command one to come. Other one to do and he do it. Other one to go and he will go. So Christ, I know where you come from or where you came from. You have higher power, superpower than my own power. So if only you will say a word. My servant will be healed. Praise the name of the Lord. It is so true that our God, when he come and speak a word, then a miracle is going to happen. I had one of my members and she came and told me, Mama, they say that my kidneys are failing. I said, no, they are not failing. You know, there are some There's some report that they will bring to you and then there you are. You stand up with your faith and I told her, no, your kidneys, they're not not failing by the grace of God. But when I look at her face, I look at her countenance, I could see something is wrong. But I just told her, just come. I lay hands on her, and I prayed over her. I prayed for her kidneys. I told her, any time you feel that you are contacted, go back to the doctor again. Let him do whatever he's supposed to do, and then you come with a report. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And then after prayer, the following Sunday, she came. And I could see that her countenance was changed. She came and said, Mama, I am totally healed. Even the doctors were asking, did we make any mistake? No, they never made mistake. When Jesus came, 
He is proving even to the daughters that he is the great physician. Praise the name of the Lord. He is the great physician. So the same God, the same God who was there in Kenya, in Indiana, El Paso, in California, he is the same God who is here tonight. And so I am believing God together with you, that same Christ, he is going to speak a word unto your business. He is going to speak a word unto your work. He is going to speak a word to your family. He is going to speak a word to this church. He is going to speak a word to your ministry in the name of the Lord. And when the Lord God comes and speak a word to this ministry, to this church, this church will never be the same again. The Lord God will move. The Lord God is going to do great and mighty things in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am trusting God together with you. This is the day the Lord God has made for you. And tell him, Lord, come and say in a word unto me, Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Then when you come to verse 9, Jesus heard these things. He marveled at him and turned him about and said unto the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. That even Jesus Christ also marveled for the faith that the centurion had, praise the name of the Lord. And he declared, and he said, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. May the Lord God come and find one or two or three, them those who are having faith in God, and great and mighty miracles are going to happen unto you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Just tell the Lord, God, say in a word unto me. Speak a word unto me. And when you speak a word, then a miracle is going to happen in the mighty and holy name of Jesus Christ. And I am believing God to gather with you. All the testimonies I'm giving you is to encourage you tonight that the same God who did it in the Bible days, he is still doing it even today. To them, those who believe in him, and as you continue believing in God, then you are going to see great manifestation in your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So I want you to have faith in God. Believe God to gather with me. And tonight, things will never be the same again. The way you came in, I am trusting God. You cannot go back the same. No way, you cannot. You cannot go back the way you came. God ought to come and deal with you. God ought to come and perform a miracle in your life in the mighty and holy name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He is a great God. He is a wonderful God. And tonight is your night. Just trust him. Lean on him. And as you will continue leaning on God. And you say, Lord, here I am, Lord God. Saying a word unto me. And as you do it, I am going to be delighted before thee, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We give God all to the Lord. You know what? When Jesus turned around and said that I have never seen so great faith not in Israel, that means he had marveled at that faith of the centurion. Is he going to find one in our midst today who is having that great faith in the name of the Lord? And as you are having that great faith, then God is going to come. He is going to perform that miracle unto you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Just one. So believe God and whatsoever you need, then my God, he is going to give it unto you. 
In the mighty and holy name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. I am trusting him that he is a mighty God. He is everything and he can do it. How many believe that God can do it? He can do it. And all what you need to do is to have faith in God and trust him. And as long as you are going to trust him, then God, he is going to come. The moment Hannah thought her end has come because she was being provoked, being undermined by Penina. But the Lord God heard her cry. When Eli say, go, may the Lord God give you your petition. And the Lord came and gave her her petition. She needed only one male child. But the Lord God Almighty gave her more than one. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And so I am trusting God together with you. That which you need, the Lord God to come and perform and do it unto you. This is your day. This is your hour. The Lord God has made it for you. And God is going to come. He is going to perform that miracle unto you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am trusting God. And I told God, Father, you know what? As you are going to speak a word, do not pass me by. Let the Lord God come. Do not allow him to pass you by. Let him come and perform that miracle unto you, that which you need. Tell the Lord, this is what I need, God. Come, remember me, God. Remember your mercy upon my life. And I am trusting you, God. This is my day. This is my day. Tell the Lord, this is your day. This is your day. And because it is your day, then the King of Kings, he is coming, hallelujah, to perform great and mighty miracles in your life. Can we all bow our hands? Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, God. We give you all the praise, my Father. Hallelujah, God. Just continue committing yourself in the hands of God. In the name of Jesus.